the 1969 Chevrolet El Camino SS454. It has gone through many RQ changes in the game since being added from the very beginning. But, is it finally the car's turn to return to the rare rarity, or will it still stay as super rare but not perform as well? I'm Yellowfin99, and welcome to Top Drive's Theories. <laughs> The intro is pretty cool, right? Okay, so, what well, first what we should look at, if we want to know if the Chevrolet El Camino might theoretically change back to rare, is cars that are in its category. So, the Chevrolet El Camino is a American drag car that has a strong 0 to 60, high top speed, and deep low MRA, and very low handling from 1969. And it has medium ground clearance, weighs about in the middle of like generically where cars weigh. It's not heavy, but it's also not really light. But you're not really going to end up using this car on a slalom test anyway. So, now if we look at cars that would be in its category of like the drag category, it would be rear wheel drive performance, super rare or rare cars with 0 to 60 ascending. And then we want to look more at cars that are at its RQ range. So first off, you might notice cars like the Ford Ranchero only has two less top speed has a 0 0.10 to 60 faster than the El Camino and eight more handling for five less RQ so that's one big difference between five RQ with a car that performs even better than the El Camino and the El Camino does have a rather small MRA another car is the Alfa Romeo Caraba one thing to keep in mind though is it is low ground clearance but it is lightweight it has 10 more handling and has a similar 0 to 60 with higher top speed. Plus other cars in its American category, like the Chevrolet Corvette ZR2, which is a car with 4.9 0 to 60, which is 0 0.1 less than the El Camino, 72 handling, which is a lot more than the El Camino has, and higher top speed, with a pretty sure a bit larger MRA. But we'll get into all that stuff later. So and other cars in its category, like if you look at the El Camino, but then you have cars like the GTX, only 0.30 to 60 greater for a RQ difference of 11. So, lots of lower RQ cars that have similar or better stats than the El Camino, like the AMC, AMC AMX3, another car that has similar stats to the El Camino, but with just greater stats like in other aspects. So... Should the El Camino really stay rare? I, I don't believe it should. The El Camino has what you would say a decent MRA for a drag car, with a solid MRA of 76.58. But what is MRA? Well, MRA stands for mid-range acceleration, which is how fast your car accelerates after hitting 60 miles per hour, and can be calculated by your 0 to 60 time, and your 0 to 100 time. So by calculating that, you get your mid-range acceleration, which for the El Camino is 76.58, which is about decent, like for a drag car, where you want it, the higher the MRA, the stronger it'll perform after reaching its 0 to 60. And since the 0 to 60 on the El Camino is rather low, most low RQ drag cars that have low 0 to 60 have not very strong MRAs. And it has a MRA of 76.58, which is about in the middle for most drag cars, where some have up to like 100 MRA, while others have like near 40. So, the next car that like we looked at in this category is the Ford Ranchero. Now, it has only an MRA of 43.36, which is a very big difference from 76. So Ranchero probably won't perform as good on drags as the El Camino, but still, for... A RQ difference of 5, with also it having better handling by 8, it's still a rather big gap for only the big difference between them that the El Camino has an advantage on is its MRA. And also then, you'll look at the Dodge Charger RT, which is a car with 78.1 MRA, which is higher than the El Camino, plus it has a 0.2 second 0 to 60 faster, with only having 7 less top speed. It is low ground clearance though, but still, who really uses a drag car on a city streets? 
So the Charger RT is a very strong drag car that will beat the El Camino. Now, we also have cars like the Carabo, which we talked about, which has an MRA of 53.22, which isn't very good. But still, it has handling, that's its strength, and it also has a higher top speed for two less RQ. Then another car we mentioned, the Chevrolet Corvette ZR2, which is another car in its American Dragster category. 70.93 MRA, but it will be a close race on the one mile. Actually, the Corvette ZR2 should win, because only a difference in 6 MRA, with that large of a difference in top speed. The win will probably go to the ZR2, because it has a 0.1 second 0 to 60 faster, and also it having a larger top speed difference. Plus, that 72 handling is rather strong for it being an American drag car. Now, another car in question is the Maserati Ghibli SS, which is a bit more down here, but it is a car with pretty strong MRA and high top speed. The Maserati Ghibli SS has a 0 to 60 of 6.0, which is one second slower than the El Camino, but it does have 68 handling and a, a much higher top speed from being from the same year in 1969, so they are both able to participate in those events. Also, the Ghibli SS has a MRA of 82.76, which is about 6 MRA numeric numbers, which isn't big, but it also isn't small. It still will have an effect on the drag strip, so the Ghibli SS will win on the test pull. It may come close on the um, one mile, but I'm not sure if it will come out on top, but it will win on anything twisty because of that 68 handling stock. And the other car that is a big one is the, the Lamborghini Miura Roadster, which is a car with 6.70 to 60 stock, which is 1.7 slower than the uh, El Camino, but with much higher top speed and 70 handling stock with an MRA of 99.3 which is about 23 MRA numeric numbers over the El Camino, which is a very large difference when it comes to long drag races. So, for the El Camino to lose to an RQ40 Super Air on the one-mile drag, which you will see right here, is pretty large. For it being such a fast drag car, and its MRA not being able to help it continue to go, and losing to cars with much slower 0-60s to with higher MRAs, shows that it would be a lot more useful at a lower RQ, when you have cars like the Miara Roadster, the Dodge Charger RT, or the Maserati Ghibli SS. Now, one of the reasons why people may think that the Chevrolet El Camino should stay super rare is because of its medium ground clearance. But recently, with the new update, it threw, this car threw a complete wrench in the middle of that argument. Because the Ford Ranchero... Now, it will beat the Chevrolet El Camino on City Street's small and City Street's medium, without a doubt, just because of how much higher its handling is, with having medium ground clearance, as well as the El Camino. So, they both have medium ground clearance, the Ranchero has stronger handling, and a better 0-60, to so there isn't really an area where the El Camino is good anymore. Because American Drag Race events, you're just going to use the Corvette ZR2. Any test bowl, you're just going to use the Ghibli or the Miura. Any one mile, you'll just use the Miura Roadster. Any quarter mile or half mile, you'll just use the Charger RT. All of which are cars that are at similar RQs that all perform better than the Chevrolet El Camino. So the El Camino doesn't really have an area that it shines in anymore. Because maybe the medium part would like help it in case it's like all drag races and then there'll be like a random medium every once in a while where you'd have to use something like that. But then you just use the Ford Ranchero which will beat it everywhere. So really, the El Camino doesn't have an area that it shines in anymore. But now, if it was moved to a lower RQ, let's say maybe 39 or 38, it would be a much more useful car. It still wouldn't really have an area where it would shine in, but it would perform a lot better and be used much more, just because it would be a much lower RQ. It would just fit in a lot more with the rare cars when you have it, having such a low handling of 59 and a 0 to 60 that is decent, but an MRA that can't really hold it up against higher, higher tier MRA cars. The El Camino just will be left behind. And as it stays super rare, it doesn't find very much use anymore. So that's why I believe and I theorize that the El Camino may come back to being rare, become a 
another meta car like it used to be before and will find its use again. So that concludes this episode of Top Drives Theories, where I believe that the El Camino, the Chevrolet El Camino SS454, will return to the rare rarity and will be at an RQ of, I'd say, around maybe 38. Yeah, I'd say about an RQ of 38 would be balanced, where then it would have a 0 to 60 to help. It would become a useful car by having a small 0 to 60 with having bad handling and a decent MRA. So it would be able to be a competitive car again. Thank you guys for watching the first episode of Top Drive's Theories. Leave a comment if you like this little series that I'm doing. Uh, also, like and subscribe. Do all that cool stuff if you like these types of videos. I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.